Альбина! Сейчас прибью. Все, я, я уже все. Вышла из колени. Fifty years ago, the Jews had become very popular in Europe because of the song "Popcorn" by the group Hot Butter. I didn't know then that the Jews harp was already used 1,700 years ago in the Altai region, in South Siberia, in a region where also live the Teleots. In the past, Teleut storytellers sang legends about heroes and lyrical epic songs for days and nights. Singing fairy tales is a specificity of the Teleut's music. It was performed with the help of throat singing. Throat singing is usually associated with Mongolian and Tuvan music. Those peoples reproduce the sounds of the nature and the wild animals from the steppes, whereas Teleut traditional musicians sing their legends and epic poems. Let's listen to my friend Alexei, a Teleut singer. He's performing the fairy tale Ergelek Uul. The most important instrument for the Teleut musicians is a two-string instrument called top shoe. It is used either in groups or in solo. Струны были из конского волоса, из кишок. Не было нот, ладов. Дека была из опять кожи, опять натянутая. The music and the folklore of the Teleut is amazingly rich. In the 80s of the 20th century, the tradition of storytellers almost vanished, and very few Teleut songs are still alive. Only a few songs survived. But thanks to ethnographers who studied those songs in the 20s and the 30s, an enormous amount of shamanistic text and songs have been preserved and hopefully will be rediscovered soon. Let's expect a revival of the traditional Teleut music. See you next week and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell not to miss the next program.